it's Sashay. If you've been riding, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and welcome to my world. So today's video is going to be about books and reading. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. When I first started uploading my books to um, social media, mainly Instagram, I started getting a lot of questions about the books that I read and the people was wanting more. So I was pretty shocked. So what I've done is decided to make a constant video, so like a monthly video on all of the books that I've read. Let's talk about the books that I've read for the month. So here they go, I put them all together. So I've read, how many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven books. And I'll quickly go through each of them. So this one is The Shark and the Goldfish by John Gordon. And this is the order that I read them into. So I started the month of October with this book. And this one is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. By the way, I also watched the movie. The movie was a, a lot different, which movies really are usually different because you know the, the directors have um, creative bandwidth, if that makes sense, to kind of put their own spin on it. The third book that I read was Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. Call him Harv. I'd be like, hey, yo, Harv. <laughs> I'm irritating. So the, what was that third? The fourth book that I've read was Why Now Is The Time To Crush It, just crush it for short, by Gary Vaynerchuk. That's how he be saying his name, funny as shit. The fourth, fifth, fifth book I've read is Essentialism by Greg Mikon. I can't say his name, his last name, McKeon. Can't pronounce it. Greg, how you say your last name? The sixth book was Start With Why. Um, who was this? Simon Sinek or Sinek, however you say his last name. And then the seventh book, Unshakable by Tony Robbins. So I'll go ahead, let me rate these books really quickly. And I have my notes with me, but I'm not going to, um, I'm not rating them in the sense that one is better than the other because honestly, I liked all seven of them and that could just be me as Let me get it That could be me as a reader like I'm an avid reader and I decided to become a more avid reader because genius leaves clues that's a quote that i heard not recently but some time back and I'm, let me put these books down so um here are a few quotes that really really stuck with me about reading because i know i mentioned in a previous video how much i listen to podcasts and um on this one particular podcast and that we can get into podcasts too because that would be a fun topic, fun stuff to talk about. Podcast is the new wave of getting knowledge because you know, the Jones be quick, short, to the point. And you just get to listen to other people's thoughts. Well, it's interesting to me, but we could talk about that. Comment below if you want me to do a video on a podcast that I listen to. So anyway, not to get, not to derail the conversation, let's get back into the books that I've been reading. Um, the quotes that I've heard on the podcast were, uh, a few that really stuck out for me was, genius leaves clues. So I'm like, you know what, that's so true. Like there are so many smart people in this world who've written books and they leave clues like you just got to pick up a book and find those clues you know that could be the key to your success key to your success writing a book that you never decided to pick up but you was interested in but you just left on the shelf for shelf help that's another thing that i've been hearing shelf help and not self-help so um that's quote one quote genius leaves clues why why not just pick up a book and get into these clues that these geniuses are leaving around these little nuggets the second one was the average reader reads about five to six books per year ceos read 52 books or more per year so that one really hit home for me because and i'm all being ratchet 
Anyway, never. I'm just getting so sidetracked in this video. Y'all gonna be like, what? What happened, Shay? So I'm excited. That's what it is. It's, I'm passionate about reading. The third quote that I really loved is, "Leaders are readers." And then it went on. The podcast went on to say that um, knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power. Knowledge is only power if you act on what you're reading. Now, let me get back into rating these books because I started dropping them and I was just a little jittery and too hyped because I'm passionate about the books. So let's hop right into rating the books. So I'm going to give a very quick overview of each of the books in the order that I rate them in. Um, but if you want to talk about them, and maybe we could start a little book club or something, who knows. If you want to talk about them, just hit me up or reach out in the comments below and I will be definitely be um, interested in chatting on each of these books a little more. So number one is essentialism and the word that definitely comes to mind when I read this book or now that I'm thinking back on this book is prioritization and also being choosy with your time. The book that I rate number two of seven is Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Let's see, so y'all can see that. And what I think of now that I'm looking back on this book, the few, two, a few, I was gonna say two words, but it's not even gonna be close to two words. Um, some things that come to mind are the, your money mindset, your money blueprint, and programming your mind in a way that is. Your, what you think about money and not what you've been brought up on or how you've been programmed in the past to think of money. Number three of seven for me is The Hate You Give. And what comes to mind when I think of this book, and it's so sad, is per, can't talk police brutality. And a lot of the stuff in this book, literally, like I felt because not only did it resonate with me and count how many times I said resonate in this video. I'm tired of using the word myself. So if you talking about me or if you thinking like that, how many times you gonna say that word? I already know sis, I feel like I'm saying it too much. But um, even down to the fact that the girl in the book wore J's and I'm like, bruh, that was so me. And I don't know, it just, it's, a, it's been black in America, that's all. Number four of seven for me is start with why and what now that I'm reflecting back on this book what comes to mind is purpose like I'll just yell out a few words not yell but say a few words purpose belief um mission vision like Simon the author of this book he talks about you know how to start with those things and pretty much the title sums it up starting with why Number five for me of the seven books is Unshakable. And this book is pretty much about investing. I'm heavily into reading books about investing and I am definitely going to have more books about investing on the list in the future. So look out if you trying to grow your money, look out. Number six of seven for me is Crush It. And what comes to mind now that I'm reflecting back on this book is using social media platforms and to finding your medium to grow your brand or your business in this century. Like these tools are social media and like other mediums are super powerful in this day and age to grow your brand, your personal brand, your business's brand, whatever. Um, so that's what comes to mind when I read this. And number seven for me is The Shark and the Goldfish. This one was a pretty quick read. So I read this in like, I kid you not, 25 minutes or, or less. Um, this one is things to think about or keep in mind in times of change. Short, sweet, to the point, and it has some golden nuggets in the book. So I challenge you to read a book per week. Comment below and let me know what books you're currently reading. If you're not reading any at the time, let me know what books you plan to read this month. And we can also talk more about the books that I have read um, last month. Now, if you are also interested in learning how I read so many books, 
per week let me not per week but per month let me know because i do have some tips and techniques that i've learned and i can definitely share um how to read faster and at what times you should read because it will help you read the amount of books that you um set your goal for if don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video if you find it helpful and don't forget that i will be continuing this challenge Per month again I will be pulling together all of the books that I've read for the month and talk about them in the following month.